in this channel, we have a tradition where I suit up for the season finale, but still no pants. And you know why? Because this is a job. Well, I mean, I did quit my job and it is a hobby, not a job, but I think at the end of the day, what is a job, right? Let's think about that for a second. When I say this line, the job line is more like before I would do content creation after I work my nine to five job, right? Then I come home, then I'd create content from like five to 10 and go to bed. And then I would always have this tradition where I say, this is a hobby, not a job, because it was truly a hobby that I wanted to do. But the job in that definition isn't something where you put labor into it and you get money for it. That's not what a job is to me. A job is something unfulfilling where you're basically going somewhere to collect a paycheck so you can pay rent, so you can live, right? Now that I'm able to do this as a quote unquote job, like I'm working and I'm getting paid for it. You can call it a job whatnot. I'm just fucking watching anime at the end of the day. But I still think it's that hobby, even though I'm doing this full time. Let's begin today's reaction. Because remember, we saw the body last night, right? Sorry, not last night, last episode. Akane is here as well. But Ruby, they're following like a crow at nighttime. It wasn't good. And then we got the confirmation that basically Sensei, right? Who is Aqua's old body. It's in there. She is now reporting. But like, how is this gonna then connect into Aqua knowing and Ruby knowing that they're both reincarnations, you know? What? Because, like, Ruby's sad now, and then maybe she'll go to Aqua and they'll have a talk about... Because, like, if, if Ruby wants to bring up that person, then she needs to basically confirm that she is a reincarnation. What's she going to say? In my past life, I saw... Some, I, I knew somebody? Like, how is the discussion going to happen for them to realize that we knew each other back in the day? <laughs> He's seen it. Okay. He's seen it. He's literally saw the crime site. Now? Because like now he saw the body. Now he was at the crime site. Now he needs to understand why would Ruby ever be so into Goro in the past, right? That topic needs to somehow be brought up. Like, this has to be beyond like, oh, I saw a corpse. Right? I, I, I just saw skeletons in this random place. That spooked me. Sure, maybe the topic will end there. But is there potential to, like, go beyond that? Ruby, they already know they're both reincarnations? When did that happen? Season 1? Is that episode 1 shit? I don't remember. Oh, okay. This makes it way more spicier. But they both know that they're reincarnations. Yet, they don't know who they are. So we're actually way closer. The, so what? So the setup is already made. Holy fuck, when they were talking as babies, yeah, yeah. So the setup is already made. It makes it even easier now for them to realize that it's Sensei and the patient. Yeah, this is gonna get so spicy tonight, man. No. Blame Ruby. I spent for eternity. That's right, I'm here too, baby. I'll kill that person for you and bury the body. What's going on, Luke? Thank you so much for the raid, guys. Please check out Mr. That's the bruh. Oh, who is that? That's the bruh! Thank you, dude. I saw you in a powdered wig in the beginning of today's stream. I was like getting ready to go to the gym and then I, I turned on your stream. And you had a fucking powdered wig on. Looking like a dude, like looking like fucking Ludwig von Beethoven. Johann Sebastian Bach looking ass. What was going on there, bro? He's bald? You're bald? Wait, wait, did you have a sub goal to go bald? So we have freshest anime and that's the bruh that are both baldies. <laughs> One day, guys.
100k sub goal. I'll shave my head. No, no, I'm not shaving my head. No, I'm not. Thank you, Raiders. We're currently watching Oshinoko season finale as the final reaction of tonight's stream. Thank you so much for the raid, man. Hope you have a good night. Hope you had a great stream. No spoilers. I will ban you. His old body, too. He probably believes that, right? I don't know. I never once thought that he was deliberately feeding her because he seemed to be past the whole revenge shit and I thought he was just chilling. But like, he was feeding her, drip feeding her the entire time. We got manipulated along with Akane. And now it's out. Now what? For what? Does this bring closure for Aqua? Basically, he just wants to confirm his remains? You're what? Sounds like this guy is so crazy right now. Is Akane under the assumption right now that Aqua has basically achieved his revenge and that corpse is that body that he hid? Because, like, she knows about the topic of, like, potentially he wants to kill someone. We had the whole talk on the balcony, and she was like, yeah, I'll bury the body for you. But she's thinking here that man was? She's not thinking his dad, right? I, 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 I'm not sure. She, 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 she should know beyond this. I'm, I'm confused on like what she thinks is happening right now. Well, like even if she knows the loophole, there's the potential that Aqua has surpassed that level of imagination and pretended to be stupid and has already quote unquote murdered the real father, and that's the body, right? That's what I'm getting at. That is an assumption one could make, but very, very unlikely. Yeah, I think that it's just a friend, right? It's, it's just a friend, the doctor. I think that's kind of the connection that she's making at this moment. Yeah, it's the doctor friend. Huh? Now you can what? No, no, not yet. No. Somehow, somehow, Aqua is really just ready to go. Uh, sorry, Akane is ready to just give up, huh? She wants to move on from this, but no, nobody is moving on from anything. I want the drama to continue. Mm. The tears. And the internal thought. I think that there's like an internal monologue happening at the same time with that are, right? As she's crying. She doesn't want this to happen. That's why he's crying, right? She's literally trying to push him away, but it hurts for her. That's why he's having this internal monologue. Huh. Gaslight him. No, gaslight him. Turn around. Why can't you realize that your real dead committed that double suicide for the, you know, Himiko's parents? The real one exists. That's all you have to say. Just fucking turn around. Hit him with that. These are real tears. She can't control these. Oh. Oh, tear wiping Riz. Wow. No. It's not over. It's not over. Akane, don't let this man move on and live a healthy life. Do not let him do this. We need the content. Season 3 is already confirmed. Akane, tell him the truth. Mm -mm. Not on my watch. Not on my watch. Kiss? We don't need to manipulate him. We don't need to go back in the vengeance plot. Even if everything has been settled and he has closure, quote unquote closure, he's like willing to be with her. Now let me protect you. So Akane just wins. She doesn't need to play her card. Kana loses. Again, what's new? 
and Ruby. Look at their head. Is this to basically for like, if you sleep with long hair, it's easier to maintain. So that when you wake up, it's not all messy, I guess. What is this? Is this an ad placement right now? Is this product placement? Yo, we got to find that. Uh Oh, also other people have been commenting the same thing too. But I think that it makes sense that like we were talking about some sort of deity, some sort of God when we were coming here. I forgot the exact lore, but I think that you can assume that the white hair lolly, that pretty much is like a deity. Like there's some mysterious godlike child, right? Along with the crow is talking some shit. I think that that may have to do with like that lore of this whole Miyazaki place. I mean, shit, reincarnation exists in this world. Why can't supernatural shit like that, huh? Oh, he kept it. She kept it. She kept it. Tag. What? She can access ancestor memories? Somehow being in the same scene as episode one of Oshinoko, Aqua, who does have Hoshino eyes blood, can unlock ancestor memories? What? The god, the god. Yeah? You wanna take it back? Are you kid? This lolly crowbender has to be the god, right? Ruby's mad. Show me the malice. But what? Ruby's scaring me. She's not there. She is preoccupied. Dark Ruby, man. Should have picked a fucking industry where people watch you and pay money for what you say rather than what you wear. <laughs> That's right, Kana has confirmed it. In the end, performers are manual labors, you know? That's right. Mm hmm Entertainment industry, idols, bro. They have a harder job than the minimum wage worker working manual jobs. Yeah, manual labors. You doing fucking, fucking, what's it called? Landscaping, you do construction work. Though it's not really minimum wage jobs, but manual labors. Cancel Kana, bro. <sighs> Yo, Ruby, what's going on? Mm, yeah. She's gonna tell her about everything. Like, because like, now what's she gonna think? Ruby's gonna think, because like Ruby is infatuated with Sensei, but Sensei and Hoshino Ai's relationship now being revealed, Ruby will then be angry at Sensei for quote unquote cheating on Ruby with Ruby's future mom to be you know what I mean? This is getting Oh, it it, it, it makes sense, but like because of the reincarnation and everything, it's 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 getting messy. Like go back one more time. Go back one more time. The doctor was thought to have gone missing for a long time, but the very day he fell out of contact was when the babies were born. Because he was just kind of like, there was some weird stalker guy and he got pushed down a hill. How does that work, right? Because like, the souls would have to then be implanted into the bodies. And she also mentioned how they were like soulless babies. But, but the doctor's death and the birth of the kids happened almost simultaneously, maybe. But Ruby's death happened such a long time ago. There's like this long period of time where her soul must be idle, just doing nothing, doing nothing until it found like a host. I don't even know how the fuck the reincarnation mechanic works. Like, what the fuck? She is stirring the shit pot. Shady guys. Blonde guy. One guy, father, father, this looks like Aqua right now. This totally looks like Aqua's side of the head if you can't see his face. This gotta be the father. 
So hold up. It's the same guy? The same guy who stabbed Hoshino Ai is the same guy who pushed, right? The same person who killed Sensei. It's the same person. And basically, the real father is manipulating this fucking super fan stalker. Mm -hmm. yeah. He's just been fed information from the dad. Soundtrack is cooking. <laughs> Dramatic crows. Oh, you fucking troll. You have all the answers. You're basically guiding her to the answer. Just give it to me right now. Stop it. You're fucking teasing us. You're blue balling us. <laughs> Ruby's deep in thought. <laughs> <laughs> wow, the water is so cool. I'm fucking gonna get hypothermia. <laughs> Kana's looking good, yeah, but what about Ruby? Not Ruby though, right? Yeah, and Ruby? Based Memchim. That's Kana's thing. Look at me, look at me. <laughs> You're gonna fall off if you don't fucking just wild out, bro. You better do some crazy shit. She's good at her job. She knows exactly what everyone's strong points are. And then there's Ruby. What's Ruby up to? The crows are here again. I think that the god can see Ruby through the crows. The visions of the crows are the visions of the god. She's just hot, but she's boring personality. Okay. Yes, her mom. All the crows are watching too. Is she gonna pop off here? What's gonna happen? Dark Ruby? Yeah. Keep cooking. What does this mean, Ruby? Wait till you realize that your dad. Wait till you realize you literally saw him two episodes ago at the grave. Oh. Dark Ruby! Dark Star. Dark Star. Tears. Double Dark Star. Double Dark Star. One more than Aqua. I've never seen Aqua do double Dark Scar. Double Starring Gun. <laughs> Even scared the crows away. I think this probably works into the whole Ruby doesn't stand out. This is the new angle we're going. Dark Ruby. Fallen Angel, bro. The crow's feathers literally synchronizing with the picture. It's perfect. She is her. And I think she's realized at this point too. It's just like, I think we can lean into this Avenger angle. Keep doing it. This is scary, man. And we're back. What do you think happened after here? This is what I always love to think about, right? Sure, this scene was super epic. This scene is super cool. But when the camera stops rolling, what is she doing? Is she like, oh fuck, this is cold. I'm wet now. I gotta stand up. <laughs> like, like, what do you think happened? Because like, to us, yeah, it's a really cool scene. And the crow feathers drops. And, Whoa, dark ruby. But it's like, all right, cut. You can stand up now. Why are you staring at me like that? みんなお疲れ。ここでもしていってよ。明日の昼にはもう全然ゆっくりできないわよ、それ。明日は。How's the envy even going to look? Cuz like Kana is so bubbly, bubbly, happy, happy. Woohoo! And then Ruby's like, "I am an Avenger." How are you going to like make that work in the same video? Like, the theme is gonna be so fucking polarizing. Happy, happy, emo. Happy, happy, I will murder him. The behind the scenes. It's not just filming, man. A month of editing, huh? That's the second music video. The first one is when everyone's happy and bubbly. The second one, he needs extra time because of Ruby. Yeah, 
あかねのアクアーオフィシャルメイビーあかねのアクアーオフィシャルメイビーあかねのアクアーオフィシャルメイビーあかねのアクアーオフィシャルメイビーあかねのアクアーオフィシャルメイビーあかねのアクアーオフ
Yeah, let's make a wish. Wow. What did you wish for, Akane? Health and longevity. What did you wish for, Akana? To do well in the idol. What did you wish for, Ruby? I don't have a wish. I have a goal. <laughs> my only goal is to <laughs> revenge my clan. <laughs> she, she needs to say that doing this. <laughs> she, she needs to say that. <laughs> I'm doing this. I am an adventure. Oh man. <laughs> Everyone had their wishes. And Ruby, what about you, Ruby? <laughs> okay. Okay. She has cooked enough to realize that Aqua is trying to find that person. Okay. And now, and now, but like, how does she figure that out? Because Aqua himself was also experiencing the traumatic death of Hoshi no Ai. And now Ruby is wondering, what is Aqua doing? Why did he even join to find a certain person? Everything has been pointing to the culprit who is the real dad, but she doesn't really know that yet. Now one could assume that Aqua indeed has been after that guy. That is pretty big brain, right? That's, that's pretty fucking big brain. Masayoni. But Aqua's given up. The god. This is like a shrine. This is where you wish. And the god was shown there. And the god has now listened to the wish. Right? That this is the god. This has to be the god, bro. And like, the wish has now been heard. And now maybe the god's gonna help make this happen, you know? Oh shit. I I'm, I'm like, wait, is this the ending? No, 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 we're not done yet. Popping, popping! This is probably not the MV where Dark Ruby is shown, right? But this is what I'm telling you. You know how everything is just happy, happy, puppy, puppy, And then they should just include one frame of Ruby, just... Just like the Dark Ruby scenes, just out of fucking nowhere to just... The gap contrast, right? The gap moe between the happy, happy and the I am an Avenger would be so fucking funny to me. Whoa, that was pretty cool usage, right? I don't know, something about this kind of fun. Like, look at that. She's crying, and it's got double starring guns on. It's like a happy song, but beneath it, there's a hidden element. Ruby. Yo, that's sick. That's better. I like like a confident smiling dark ruby, you know? The other one was like too emo and depressing, but this dark ruby is like confident. More ruby in the background. Popping, popping, yeah! Popping, popping, popping! It's pretty catchy. Now, the comment section. Yo, did that blonde girl add an extra fucking contact lens? What's going on with her fucking eyes? Yo, I think I saw two dark stars. I think this girl's chuny as fuck. What kind of contact lenses do you need to get that? Fraudulent. Aqua's monologue right here confirms that the god has made this successful. They popped off, not necessarily because the content is good, but the god is like, your wish is my command, Ruby. I will get you one step closer by making this pop off. Bro, what the fuck? Bikomachi was washed. They didn't do shit. And now, overnight sensation, it's popping off. They're having more shows. Oh my god, the lolly gods literally just like graced them with everything. Half of your time skip. Oh no, the ending! Alright, grade 11. Seniors. Proposal, the 15 year lie. Where each of her endeavors became making great strides. Hold on, hold on. What's going on here? 15. Whose computer room is this? Who is this room? Does anybody know? 
What is this? 15 year life sounds very, very fucking important. Is this like our quote unquote father? Gotanda, right? So Gotanda is writing a fifth. Gotanda is writing something about like the death, like the truth of Hoshino Ai. What's going on? And Gotanda's PC, there was like a very interesting name in the folders in that one episode, which was anime only scene. But yeah, there was like a very, apparently one of the folder names was very interesting. Or it could be Aqua writing, because, you know, Aqua also kind of shares this space sometimes, right? Who knows? So is that the father? So this is obviously, you know, a school, day, not school, it's like the fucking, you know, the, the, hot, the guy that only looks at appearances, right, to hire. But is this the father? I don't know. You know, at this distance, you could assume so. You know, look at his hair. It's blonde, and he's fishing. I want to believe that this is the dad here, bro. Ruby still got the dark eyes. And Aqua doesn't have the dark eyes yet. No, Aqua's eyes are gone. I still think that she, she like, borrowed the eyes, bro. That because, like, Aqua... And maybe if Aqua's back in the revenge plot, if, she, if he also, like, takes back the single eye, I don't know. It really doesn't matter. It's just symbolism. Now, post credit scene. Now what? We're back at the hill where we died. Oh, this is, like, literally right after. This is when Sensei died. And we have... The guy that pushed us? I can't tell from this distance. Oh! Huh? Huh? Who, who the fu- From this angle, it looks like Akane. I don't know, but I think it's a brand new girl. From this angle, I'm like, Akane doesn't make sense. But she has the star. She has a star. Who the fuck is this? This is not Sensei? I have no clue. Hoshino I has two stars. This girl has two stars. There's turquoise blue color hair. I never knew. Who? Who the fuck is... And she's a hat. And the stars are gone. Who? Who the fuck are you? Who? Who are you? Cause that's not... And, 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 and this is... Maybe the dad? He has his blonde hair that's tied back. In this angle, it just looks like Akane, but it's a brand new girl, right? What the fuck? The dad. It just looks like longer hair aqua, huh? It looks like longer hair aqua with double stars, man. Look at this. Damn, his drip is insane. And then the crows go off again. Is the gods watching? What is happening? I don't think there's really anything that I can really guess at this moment other than random fucking guesses, right? There's another idol. This guy? Dude, he gets so many girls. That's just part of the entertainment industry. He, he really just only goes for fucking idols and shit, huh? Idols and actors and all these different people. This girl also has double eyes. But like, who the fuck could it be? Could you imagine that this is the future? <laughs> and it's actually Aqua. Insane theory. This is actually Aqua. Time skip into the future. Who knows what this timeline is? Nah, I think that this is the dad, right? And there is someone that looks like Akane that died. That double has a double star. And at this point... Is there any other leads that we could go off by? Just, it's just gotta be a brand new girl that has no connections with anybody. Maybe if I rewatch season one, episode one, then I could make some connections to how this relates to Hoshino Ai, maybe? Potential sibling? Potential half sibling? Random girl? I don't know. I don't know. And that's today's episode. And yes, season three is confirmed and we'll be covering that as well. But I think that Oshinoko, Round of applause. This is the best anime of summer 2024. Of the ones that I've personally watched. Right? I think that Dogakobo went out of their way to give Oshinoku such a perfect adaptation. And I don't even know the source material. But I can just tell quality when I see it. This shit's a minimum 9. It's just so sad that the global audience, as in the English-speaking North American audience, does not exist. While this shit pops off in Japan, if you have Japanese subtitles, like Freshest Anime, right? Very smart. There's a huge audience for Oshinoko. And I'm glad that, like, you know, it's still getting the adaptation that this source material deserves. And season three is confirmed, and I'm sure it's going to be even fucking better. And the secrets, the mysteries, what's happening? The Dark Ruby stuff is fascinating. They're entering their next year of high school. Aqua himself has said that, you know, 
our individual strides. The plot is going to progress so much faster. And this shit I hear is like future stuff that happened in the manga, which is just kind of like the Dogako will just basically sprinkling in this little, you know, future shit that's going to happen to keep us all fucking on, you know, our toes and trying to theorize what's going to happen. But fantastic anime. And that's it for me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until season three, take care.